Hello everybody, this is Luke Godzilla fan. Today I'm going to do a toy review on a requested figure. This is Andrew McAbolton, or Android McAbolton. I don't know which is his real name, but I've gone used to call him Andrew McAbolton, since that's how I saw him on eBay. Good. Now first let's go to the tag. According to what I've heard, this is actually a fan monster. Well, it's a fan design from a fan. Uh, how do I explain this? I think there's like a contest where they make, um, they make people to design their, a monster or just redesign an ultra monster, whatever. Kind of like how this person, I don't know, remember his name, in Godzilla vs. Megalon made a script and they just added Godzilla at the end. That's kind of like that, except it's not a script, it's a monster. So I guess this is the concept art of it, or I'm not sure. I guess it is. I mean, they have to give him credit. It looks pretty cool. They should do this more often with the tags because just putting the suit here is kind of boring. It just doesn't add any style to the monster. This is style. They should do this from now on. Anime monsters. Thumbs up. Okay, uh, and speaking of which, since this is a fan design, shouldn't the, the, the kid or whatever who made this get profit out of it? I guess he has to. Well, I don't know. I'm just asking too many questions. So, yeah, this is Andrew McAbolton. The figure is very nice. I love the color. Detail is good, but the color is the reason why you should get this. It's nice and colorful. Videos or pictures online can't do justice to this, unless it's HD or whatever. It's very nice and colorful, and that's not the way I can describe it. Because it's nice and colorful. I like the green, the red, the gold. It looks all so natural and colorful. It's, it's, it's just great. And I like how the eyes are very stylishly painted red, so they kind of shine. When you have sun in it, it kind of makes a kinda cool reflection. But it's only a small reflection. It's not like you see yourself in the eye. <laughs> And the tube that goes to his backpack. And here's his cool cannon. I guess he uses these as projectiles. So yeah, this figure is pretty cool. The only bad thing about the paint job is here. If you see here, you see these little squares. I think they should have painted these black to add him a more cool and dramatic style. But, you know, it's still good. And one thing that's pretty odd is that he has this weird thing here, I guess it's a tie, I don't know, I don't live in Japan. And, um, it has a Triforce on it. You know, we all know that Triforce is from the Legend of Zelda. But, why would it be here in an Ultra Monster? Well, I guess the kid who made this was a fan of the Legend of Zelda. Hopefully we won't get any lawsuits because of that. Let's go to Articulation. Articulation is the same thing as any other humanoid. Ultra Monster Ultraman, so it's just arms and waist. And too bad you can't move these or, you know, like the original Bolton, because that would look pretty cool. I mean, you have this cool cannon, and in a stop motion movie, you would actually be able to spin it 360 and make it look like a machine gun. Like, it would look really awesome, don't you think? And I guess he uses these for melee attacks. Really cool. I don't know if this is supposed to be space in between this claw or if this is actually there. I'm not really sure about it. But it still looks cool. This is some figure is not very big but it's not very small. And I gotta prove it to you. Here's the original ball. Wait. There we go. Here's the original ball. And, yeah, the original Bolton is bigger. But it really doesn't matter. It still looks cool. It looks like a nice family of Boltons. The Bolton tree grows ever bigger. And let's size them up with the original Ultraman. And both seem about to be about the same size. Yeah, so I'd say both are 40 meters. I don't know if the fan kid or whatever, submitted any size for this, but I'm just going to give it my own 40 or whatever. I'm not going to give it any size, you know, better, because so the size is not going to be like, oh, this is 50 meters, this is 40 meters. It's just getting repetitive and boring. 
I'm just gonna size them up with one more Ultraman, Ultraman and this is Ultraman Zero. And both about the same size. The Ice Augers don't count. And, oh, it's pretty good. Both are very bluish. This is a red, but it's bluish. And now let's size them up with some Ultra Monster Aliens. First off with Yapool. That looks pretty good. Awesome. Super Alien Hipporito. Super Alien Hipporito is bigger because of this thing here. It looks like a light bulb. And, well, it's, it's cool. You know, I think that Super Alien Hipporito should get a redesign to look more colorful like Andro Makeup Bolton. It's kind of a very dark blue, and I don't like it that much. Eh, too bad it was reissued recently. They can't reissue it again. And um, let's size him up with an Ultra Monster that he should fight if he ever fights him. But I doubt he will. Um, Gomorrah. It's pretty cool. And in case he, of course, he ever fights Gomorrah, he's gonna have to fight Ex Gomorrah also. Ex Gomorrah is smaller, but it works. It works very good. And also, well, Ray doesn't have Ella King anymore, but also Ella King would look pretty cool. Actually, this looks very cool battle. Ella King is almost about the same size about him. If you don't count the antennas, he's actually smaller. That's pretty cool. Now, let's have some up with some other monsters. Well, first, Godzilla. I think he goes good. You know, a fight between the 6 day Godzilla and this Andro well, with this Bolton would look very awesome because both are very cartoonish. Because the way Andro Mecha Bolton is colored makes him look like not just an anime, you know, character, but also a very colorful, cartoonish character. And since the old Godzilla movies of the 60s and 70s are supposed to look cartoonish or just you know, like this Godzilla, I think it will look very good. And since he is a monster, well, of course, from space, I think it should only make sense I size him up with another monster from space. Space Godzilla. Well, this looks pretty good. I like it. Of course, I think Space Godzilla should be a little bit bigger, but... You know, it still looks cool. Space Godzilla is really powerful. That look may, w would look like a really cool battle. Them flying in space and crashing and fighting. Epic. And just one more. Okay, again. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The battle of the creatures that don't have hands and Sam they have other things that are not hands. So yeah, this is Andro Mecha Bolton. I think the sizing is very good. He's not big, but he's not small. And the articulation is decent. I'm not a person who always goes nagging around like, oh, come on, they can do more than that. They're humanoids, blah, blah, blah. This is vinyl. This is not made out of die-cast metal that can move into any way you want. This is just vinyl, and this is nice and simple. Detail and paint job are great. Well, the paint job is great, detail is good. And do I recommend it? Yes, I will. And I'm not going to do the 10 out of 10 or 5 out of 5 rating anymore. This time I'm going to do what Roger Ebert does. I'm going to give the, the figure a thumbs up. It is, it is not big, but it's not small. It has good detail, but it has amazing paint job. And you should get it because of the amazing paint job. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, this is Luke Godzilla Fan signing out.